Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at how we can use U substitution to evaluate this integral to make it something that we can, we can tackle. Notice the square root of this guy and this x over here. It's, and you have a multiplication even. It's kind of hard to deal with this multiplication. But if we can interpret this as like just one thing in and of itself, like u to the 1 half or something, and this over here as a sum or a subtraction of something else, it can distribute through, and we might get just powers of u. Let's see how this works. I'm going to label this as u, but in order to take an antiderivative with respect to it, we have to replace our dx with du over the derivative of u, which just happens to be 1, which is kind of nice. Also, remember that these are x values, so I'll just write that in before I actually change them. Next, this x, it'd be nice to write that in terms of u, which I can because I have an equation right here which relates u and x. x is equal to u minus 1. So we can rewrite this as u minus 1 times the square root of u, and we just have du. Now, how do the bounds change? When x is 0, u is 1, because you just plug in 0 right here, and you get 1. When x is 1, then u will be 2. So it looks like we get the integral from 1 to 2 of u minus 1 quantity times square root of u du. Now let's just look at this for a minute. This is u to the 1 half, and we can multiply, we can distribute it through u to the 3 halves minus u to the 1 half du. So u to the 3 halves minus u to the 1 half du. And we can take an antiderivative, u to the, uh, u to the 5 halves, and we have 2 fifths minus um, 2 thirds u to the 3 halves. And then we're just evaluating from 1 to 2. We plug in. So when we plug in 2, um, we, we end up getting um, let's see, 8 root 2, I believe, because this is 4, because this is 4 plus a half right here. Um, let's see, is that right? I mean, it's two plus a half is what I meant to say. Yes, it's two plus a, two plus a half. And so when you plug in two, two to the two is four times two is eight, but then you have a half. So two to the half is square root of two. And all that's over five. And you plug in a two here, and this is just two root two times a two. So minus four um, root two over three. And then that's what happens when you plug in it. Two, um, and then when you plug in a one, you need to plug in a one here, and so that would end up just being two uh, two fifths minus two thirds, and work that out or simplify it, um, and you would have the result um, from this use of the tuition. Thanks for watching.